Welcome Digital Training Hub. If this is your first time visiting the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released. This is lesson 2 of 7, Learning Outcomes. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to apply security measures to data, hardware, and software in an automated environment. Learning Activities 1. Classify data security and privacy, confidentiality of data, cloud computing, in accordance with the prevailing technology. Special Instructions. Computer software and hardware to be provided activities may be carried out in groups or individually. Learning Activities 2. Apply security threats, cyber terrorism, hacking, and control measures, countermeasures against cyber terrorism, risk reduction, risk management, and passwording, by laws governing the protection of ICT. Learning Activities 3. Detect computer threats and crimes. Learning Activities 3. Undertake protection against computer crimes in accordance with laws governing the protection of ICT. Introduction. Data security is certainly a hot topic these days. Controlling access to data helps ensure privacy and is required according to federal agency policies and regulations. Data security is the process of making sure data are available only to those who need to use it for a legitimate purpose. We have found that data security is not very different from other forms of security. The same concepts used to design castles apply to the construction of servers that offer access to a corporate database. The details are different, and the technical pieces are quite different, but the same approaches, rules, and lessons apply. Below are some important maxims to keep in mind. Most of them have stood the test of time for thousands of years. There is no such thing as absolute security. We can raise the attacker's cost of breaching our data security to a very high level, but guarantees are not possible. Data security is always a question of economics. What is the value of what you are protecting? How much time, effort, and money are your opponents willing to spend to get through your defenses? An attacker doesn't go through security, but around it. Their goal is to find and exploit the weakest link. Don't underestimate the value of your asset. Often common everyday data is underestimated. Mundane data can be very important. Definition of key terms. Data security. This is the process of making sure data is available only to those who need it for a legitimate purpose. Data. This is the information that has been translated into a form that is efficient for movement or processing. Data privacy, information privacy. It is the aspect of information technology that deals with the ability of an organization or individual to determine what data in a computer system can be shared with third parties. Security threats. This is the process of an illegal entity gaining access to a company's data or information. Control measures. This is any measure taken to eliminate or reduce the risk of security threats. Cyber criminals. These are illegal users who use many different methods to lure you into parting with your confidential personal or business information. Data security and privacy are classified in accordance with the prevailing technology. As discussed earlier, data security is the process of making sure data is available only to those who need to use it for legitimate use. Data security privacy on the other hand is the aspect of information technology that deals with the ability of an organization or individual to determine what data in a computer system can be shared with third parties. As more of our daily lives go online and the data we share is used in new and innovative ways, privacy and security have become important trust and reputation issues. The growing volume and sensitivity of the information being shared, stored, and used is driving demand for greater transparency about how such information is being protected, security, and managed, privacy. As a result, data security and privacy have moved from the backroom to the boardroom. Data breaches and privacy missteps now regularly make headlines and are a focal point for discussions and legislation worldwide. Failure to communicate on these important issues can damage business by eroding trust, tarnishing brand and reputation as well as undermining competitiveness. Data security ensures that the data is accurate and reliable, and it is available when those with authorized access need it.
A data security plan includes facets such as collecting only the required information, keeping it safe, and destroying any information that is no longer needed. These steps will help any business meet the legal obligations of possessing sensitive data. Companies need to enact a data security policy for the sole purpose of ensuring data privacy or the privacy of their customers' information. More so, companies must ensure data privacy because the information is an asset to the company. A data security policy is simply the means to the desired end which is data privacy. However, no data security policy can overcome the willing sale or solicit of the consumer data that was entrusted to an organization. Challenges to big data security and privacy. Securing and protecting data in real time. Due to large amounts of data generation, most organizations are unable to maintain regular checks. However, it is most beneficial to perform security checks and observations in real time or almost in real time. Data provenance. To classify data, it is necessary to be aware of its origin in order to determine the data origin accurately so that authentication, validation, and access control can be gained. Protecting access control method communication and encryption. A secured data storage device is an intelligent step in protecting the data. Yet, because most often data storage devices are vulnerable, it is important to encrypt the access control methods as well. Security threats are identified and control measures are used. A threat is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability to breach security and therefore cause possible harm. A threat can either be intentional, e.g. hacking by an individual or criminal organization, or accidental, the possibility of a computer malfunctioning or the possibility of natural disasters such as fires or otherwise a circumstance, capability, action or event. Classification of security threats. Classification according to type. Physical damage, for example, fire, floods. Natural events, for example, climate, volcanic. Compromise of information, via eavesdropping, theft of media. Technical failures, for example, equipment and software. Compromise of functions and errors in use, abuse of rights. Classification according to origin. Deliberate. Aiming at information assets e.g. spying, illegal processing of data. Accidental, for example, equipment failure or software failure. Environmental, for example, natural events and loss of power supply. Negligence, known but neglected factors compromising the network safety and sustainability. Categories of the risk of security threats. Damage, how bad would an attack be? Reproducibility, how easy it is to reproduce the attack. Exploitability. How much work is it to launch the attack? Affected users. How many users will be impacted? Discoverability. How easy it is to discover the threat. Countermeasures to a security threat. A countermeasure is an action, device, procedure or technique that reduces a threat, a vulnerability, or an attack by eliminating or preventing it, by minimizing the harm it can cause, or by discovering and reporting it so that corrective action can be taken. Countermeasures against physical attacks. If a potential malicious actor has physical access to a computer system, they have a greater chance of inflicting harm upon it. We can use the following countermeasures. Electronic destruction devices. Devices such as USB killers may be used to damage or render completely unusable anything with a connection to the motherboard of a computer. Without paper destruction, these devices may result in. Without paper destruction, These devices may result in the destruction of ports and anything physically connected to the device attacked e.g. monitors. Hard drives and storage. If the data of a storage device is in use and must be secured, one can use encryption to encrypt the content of a storage device or even encrypt the whole storage device. The device can be unlocked by a password, biometric authentication, a network interchange or any combination thereof. The process of adding physical barriers to the storage device is not to be neglected. Locked cases or physically hidden drives with a limited number of personnel with knowledge and access to the keys or locations may prove to be a good first line against physical theft. Computer threats and crimes are detected. 
Cyber criminals may use many different ethos to lure you into parting with your confidential information. Malware. Malicious software may be described as a variety of forms of hostile, intrusive, or annoying software or program code. Malware could be computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses, dishonest spyware, and malicious rootkits. Here is a quick explanation of some of the common computer threats you may come across. Computer viruses. This is a small piece of software that can spread from one infected computer to another. The virus could corrupt, steal or delete data in your computer, or even erase everything on your hard drive. Trojan horse. Users can infect their computers with this software simply by downloading an application they thought was legitimate but was infected or malicious. Once in your computer, it can do anything from recording your passwords by logging keystrokes to hijacking your webcam so as to watch and record your every move. Malicious spyware. It is used to describe a Trojan application that was created by cyber criminals to spy on their victims. An example would be a key logger software that records a victim's every stroke on his, her keyboard. The recorded information is periodically sent back to the originating cyber criminal over the internet. Computer Worm. This is a software program that can copy itself from one computer to another without human interaction. A worm can send copies of itself to every contact in your email address book and then send itself to all the contacts in your contact address book. Spam. In the security context, it is primarily used to describe unwanted messages in your email box. Spam is a nuisance as it can clutter your mailbox as well as take up space on your mail server. However, spam messages can contain links that when clicked could go to a website that installs malicious software onto your computer. Pursuing. Pursuing scams are fraudulent attempts by cyber criminals to obtain private information. Pursuing scams often appear in the guise of email messages designed to appear as though they are from legitimate sources. Rootkit. This is a collection of tools that are used to obtain administrator-level access to a computer or a network of computers. A rootkit could be installed on a computer by a cyber criminal exploiting a vulnerability or security hole in a legitimate application on your PC and may contain spyware that monitors and records keystrokes. These are perhaps the most common computer threats and crimes you will encounter that describe methods cyber criminals use to access data, computer hardware and software. Methods to protect yourself from computer crimes using strong passwords. Don't repeat your passwords on different data and software change your passwords regularly. Make them complex. That means using a combination of at least 10 letters, numbers, and symbols. Keep your software updated. This is especially important with your operating systems and internet security systems. Cyber criminals often use known exploits in your software to gain access to your system. Patching those exploits and flaws can make it less likely that you will become a cyber criminal target. Strengthen your network. It is a good idea to start with strong encryption as well as a virtual private network. A VPN will encrypt all traffic leaving your devices until it arrives to their destination. Keep up to date on major security breaches. If your data has been impacted by a security threat, find out what information the hackers accessed and change your passwords immediately. Know that identity theft can happen anywhere. It is important to protect your data for example, by using a VPN when accessing the internet over a public Wi-Fi network. Conclusion This unit dealt with the application of security measures to data, hardware, and understanding and listing the computer threats and crimes, classifications of security threats, and the countermeasures and methods of protecting data, software, and hardware from security threats. Further reading. Cheswick, W.R., Bellovin, S.M., and Rubin, A.D., 2003. Firewalls and Internet Security, Repelling the Wiley Hacker. Addison Wesley Longman Publishing Company, Inc. We have can come to the end of the lesson. Links have been provided for further reading. Thank you for watching and listening to this lesson. See you in the next video. If this is your first time visiting the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released.